Welcome to Hips, how's it feel to finally get this one all done and dusted and you can now uh, you know, properly become a Hibernian player? Yeah, I'm very excited. As you say, it, it did take a uh, take a little bit of time once that um, you know once we'd agreed to terms and everything like that, getting all the I guess um, pleasantries done and dusted. So it's it's very good to finally be here. For how long has playing in Europe been an ambition of yours? Well, to be honest, my my whole career. Uh, you know, I had um, I had a chance when I was younger, and my visa was denied, um, and then yeah, obviously I. Sort of went along the the Asian route, which for an Australian player, you know, is um, uh, logistically a little bit a little bit easier. But uh, I don't know. I guess I always had that um, you know, that burning ambition to to get across. And I think um, the World Cup for me was, uh, I guess, my my body telling me that uh, you know I still had still had quite a bit to give. Was it frustrating watching you know particularly your soccer news teammates, guys who had a Ability to get into Europe because of their, their heritage when that was kind of you know closed to you and really it was quite an arbitrary thing to be able to for them to progress their careers in the way that they wanted but but not for you. Yeah, well, it's probably you know there's probably um, you know more Australians that are able to come into Europe and and work and do things that all have some sort of a heritage you know they're not so um, obviously look when I was younger it was uh, you know it was a little bit difficult but um, you know you grow and you. You accept things and lots of different things happen and, and everything happens for a reason. So Hibs then, your new club, what what makes this the, the, the right place, the perfect place for you to come in and, and, and take your career on here? Um, well, to be honest, after the World Cup, I really you know, wanted to take my time and make sure that the you know I made a, I made a good decision, not just for, for myself, football-wise, but, but for my family. Um, you know, I did did a lot of research. I was fortunate enough to be contacted by Hibs quite early after the World Cup, so I was able to, to look into it. I was able to speak to people that uh, you know had been had lived in Edinburgh. I was able to speak to Jamie quite a bit, and um, you know the whole time, obviously hearing very very positive things. I you know I was able to watch a lot of games and and see things like that. And I think it was just for me felt like a good fit football wise. Um, you know to work under Neil Lennon is very very exciting for me. Um, to work with some of the players here is very exciting, and and I thought it was a place that I could come and and still learn, which is very important for me. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go somewhere and just for the sake of going somewhere. If I'm if I'm going to continue playing my football and trying to play at the highest possible level, I want to continue to learn. You mentioned you you talked to Jamie McLaren before you moved. Did he did he have to work hard to to sell you at all? No, well, obviously, you know, Jamie had spoken about um, spoken about the club quite a bit during the World Cup. Anyway, on his experiences that he'd had, and you know, this was before that we, before he, w he was even aware that he was going to be coming back. So obviously, once once I saw how keen he was to get back as well, I think I think that speaks volumes in itself. Um, without him having to sort of have to sell the place, you know, the fact that he had such a, an enjoyable time before and did so well and, and wanted to be a part of the setup again, I think um, you know, it sort of showed that it was a special place. You of course are quite flexible in terms of where you can play on the park, you play in centre back and in centre midfield, do you have a, an idea of, of where you would like to play or in terms of what you believe your best position is? Um, look it's been, I guess, uh, it's been a good thing and a bad thing through my career, being able to, I guess, play a few different positions. Um, obviously, for the majority of my career, I've, I've played at and been known as a six. Um, I think, from you know my understanding, that's um, you know that's where I'll be looked at uh, first and foremost. Uh, but again, I've been to many different clubs, and, and that's been the case. So. I, I'm just happy to play my role. Uh, as I say, I'm, I'm here to, to continue learning. Um, you know, I am able to play one or two positions, and uh, I'll use that. Try to use that to my advantage. I think my first, you know, point of call is to is to make sure that uh, you know my fitness and my standards are, are very high uh, to to start and and to get into get into rhythm and and be available if needed. The middle of the park is an area where Hibs lost a few players over the summer, and again, McGeek. Um, and you know, it, maybe is that maybe an area where you see yourself as being the person that you can step up to the plate as such and 
and deliver in the centre midfield? Yeah, as I say, the majority of my career has been played in that role, uh, whether that be club level or national team level. Um, so, look, as I say, I think most of the discussions leading leading into the leading into signing and and since I have signed, have sort of been, um, you know, I guess that I'd be sort of first and foremost viewed as somebody who could, I guess, help in that area. There's been quite a lot of Aussies playing in, in, in Scotland, and there's, there's quite a lot this year as well. Is it is it quite well recognised that? The amount of, of, of guys when you're back home that are playing in Scotland and people may be aware of, of, of uh, you know, what's, what's going on in the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, well, everybody's definitely aware of the, the numbers that we have um, in Scotland at the minute. Uh, to be fair, the Australian public, it's, it's a little bit difficult for us with um, British football and European football in general because just of the time difference. Um, but it's definitely a talking point, I know, around our national team especially. Um, with uh, yeah, with how many players are across at the moment, how many players are doing well? And were you and Jamie and McLaren getting together to have a, a bit of dig at uh, Ben Garuccio when you Yeah, we didn't speak to them in camp, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got Garuccio and, uh, and Bazanich at Hearts as well. Does yeah. that make you really look forward to, 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 to coming up against them in a derby? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's it's always nice, I guess, facing off against uh, you know fellow countrymen and gaining bragging rights. Um, you know, happens all over the world, and you know it's something else to look forward to here. Uh, and I know what a what a massive stage, what a massive game they are, um, and uh, obviously to to be able to put one over somebody that you have to spend time with coming up is always nice.